and welcome back. My name is Amy and today I will be leading you through a lower body, body weight workout so you don't need any equipment, just your own body weight and let's get started. We're going to start with a bit of a warm up so we'll start with some steps side to side, just getting the legs warmed up and the heart rate elevated and some movement and blood flow through the legs. Let's start to bend the hips, bend the knees so you're sinking down a little lower. And then reaching that foot behind you each time you step to the side. Drawing into your core and just that light tap behind you. Chest stays lifted. A few more here. And let's transition to knees up. So stand nice and tall and bring one leg at a time up in front. Drawing the shoulders back over the hips and lifting the knee to about waist height. If you are up here, we'll hold on one side. We'll take the knee up and just swing it back behind you. Knee comes up and then the leg swings behind. Balancing on that one leg. Getting some movement through the hip. Three, two, one, let's switch sides. Land down on the other side and begin on the other. Leg comes up and the heel lifts just slightly behind you. So you're squeezing your glute, but you're not arching your back as you bring that foot behind you. A few more here. All right, and alternating knee opening to the outside. So bringing the knee up and then sweeping around to the outside. There are a few more here. Let's go four more. Three, two, one. Now we'll take a lunge back and then just add a little rotation. So step back, not real deep yet, just finishing our warm up. Step back, add a rotation towards the front knee. Strong through your core, and then stepping together in between. Step back, lunge and twist. A couple more on each side. One more on each side. Twist. One more. Twist. Here you go, and let's add a squat to a reach. Hips moving back, chest is lifted, watching for those toes at the lowest part of your squat. All right, four, three, two, and here we go. All right, getting into our first exercise, we're going to take 30 seconds at each exercise and we'll just keep adding on. So you want to start with just a squat. Nice steady body weight squat, choosing the depth where you can control both the descent and all the way back up. Give the hips a good squeeze when you get to the top. We're going to repeat this little circuit on one side and then the other. There's four exercises in this first circuit. Stay here with your squat. And then we just keep adding on. All right, so we're going to take one squat and then move back to a lunge. So a squat to a lunge. So when you lunge, take whatever pace you need to to be able to move back enough that the knee stays still behind that front toe. Squat to lunge. Keep going. Our third exercise is a squat, then a curtsy lunge. So you squat down, and then you reach back behind that front leg. Watch that that knee is still staying in line with your shoelace as you come down. If you need to slow that down to control it a little more, go ahead. We've got one exercise after this one to add on. 
All right, come down into that squat and then just tap your foot back and come on back in. Your head doesn't move here. So you're reaching back and tapping your foot in. Stay here. Stay controlled. This is our last exercise before we have a little break. Then we start on the other side. Back and in. Feeling that stable leg more than anything. Good job. Shake that out. All right. Whoop. Timer's going crazy here. Shake it out. We're going to repeat that whole thing. We're going to take the other leg as the primary leg. Have a drink if you need. And then let's start on the other side. So we start with those steady squats. Here we go. Squat down and up. Remember, we're really working that good squeeze at the top. Standing up nice and tall in between each one. You can always add speed. If you can maintain your form to add a little more intensity. All right, now here we go with that squat and then to that lunge behind. So it's a squat, lunge behind, shoulder stays up over the hips when you go for that lunge. Just behind to a regular lunge here. The next one, we'll be adding on that curtsy lunge. Squat and then lunge. Good work. All right, now we're gonna take that squat to the curtsy lunge this time. So that's where you step that behind lunge, but watch the front knee stays over your shoelace. Chest stays lifted. Stay with me. And then we've got one more after this. That's that low squat hold and tap. All right, here we go. Get down low, back and forth. Just tap the leg, all the weight. Stay steady in that stable leg. So the leg that's moving has very little weight in it. That's it, stay here. Almost there. Nice work. Shake that out. Take a little tiny breather, grab a drink, and then we start a new round. So this time we're going to go into an alternating, no sorry, not alternating, one leg at a time. Lunge back and step in. That first exercise, just a lunge back. There's three exercises in this set. All right, so we take a lunge back. And then we step up. In between each lunge, we stand tall. Shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles in one long line at the top of that lunge. We're still watching that front toe. And then we just add on from here, all on this side to start. Good job. The next exercise is a lunge to a knee up. Slowing down a little bit so that you can really work the balance here as you bring the knee up. Engaging some core as you lift that knee to waist height in between each time. Good job. Stand tall, knee up. Our third exercise will be a lunge and then you stand tall Lift the glute and hinge forward. Drop down into the lunge. Lift, squeeze. So the lunge part, you still have the shoulders over the hips and then you tip into that glute raise with a long upper body. Lunge and lift. Lunge and lift. Making sure you're in good lunge form each time you start. Okay, switch legs. Let's go right into that lunge and stand up. Lunge, stand tall. Pressing into that heel in the front foot as you stand up tall. Continuing here for that 30 seconds. 
And then we add the knee lift. Nice work. All right, here we go. Lunge and then slow down, bring the knee up. Get your balance before you start again. So lunge back and the knee comes up and you stay balanced here. Stay with it. Lunge to knee. Almost there. Then we go into that lunge to lift. So you come into the lunge, stand tall, hinge up. From the hips, squeeze your glute each time. Shoulders over the hips as you lunge. Stand into that lift, hinging from the hips, but keeping the core engaged throughout. Almost there, and shake it out. Nicely done. Take a short break. Now we have one more set in today's challenge. All right. So taking your legs quite wide, toes to the outside. Your leg length is gonna determine how low, both leg length and flexibility and strength will impact where does the bottom of your squat look like. You just wanna make sure you can see your toes over your knees. We're going to start with just a squat here in this position. So the hips come down and the shoulders stay right over the hips. We'll add on from there. Here we go. Down and up. Now this can look quite different on different bodies. So just pay attention to how this feels and looks in your own body. Knees open as wide as you can and your knees track right over your shoelaces but not crossing over your toes. Play with that depth, keep your tailbone tucked underneath you as you lower. Okay, now here you go. Lift up alternating heels. Just lifting the heel, staying low. So you've got your core engaged, shoulders back, tailbone tucked. Lift the heels one at a time. That's it. Now we go back into one more set of those squats. As soon as we hear that beep, shoulders stay back. Here we go, squat to lift. Standing nice and tall and drawing into the center as you come back up. Stay with it. Almost there. And we go back to that alternating heel lift. One more time there. Just about. All right, here we go. Alternate the heel lift. One at a time. Alternate them, but stay balanced in the middle. Stay drawn in at your core. Stay with me, we're adding one last bonus exercise on here. Wait for the beat. Stand tall, deep breath in. Come back down. Now lift your heels. Just hold here. Find your balance. Let it shake. We're gonna step up halfway in between. Reset, oh my legs are shaking. Three, two, one, heels come down, stand tall, sink low, lift your heels. One more time, here we go. Find your balance, and stand tall. Nice work, shake that out. Good job, getting ready for a little stretch. We're gonna take one 30 second hold before we stretch. Just balancing on one leg, bringing your leg up behind you like we did after that lunge, but then holding here and hinging a little deeper. Hands can stay at your hips. And then with soft knees, I'm just going to take little lifts through the heel. Little lifts. Stay really engaged through your core and through your glutes as you take that half lift through your heel. Try and lift your heel to hip height each time. Staying balanced on that other leg. 
Almost there. Good job. Switch legs. So that leg comes down. The other foot comes back. Hinge and lift. And then start those little heel lifts. Strong core. Little raise. And then we stretch. Good job. Little lift. Nice work. Bring that leg down. Shake your legs out. Great work. Feel free to do that whole circuit one more time. Or you can add this leg workout onto the end of any other workout that you've done that day. Okay, so we're going to take it down into a bit of a stretch now. Don't need our timer anymore. Let's take our legs wide like we started to in that last one. But this time draw your heels back around behind your toes. And sink down into that. And then just take your one hand. Press into the knee and drop the shoulder down. Come back in the center. And then take the other hand. Drop that shoulder down, looking sideways. Come into the center. Sink your hips low. And then use your forearms. Just open up through the knees a little. Move around through that. Get some movement in through your hips. Up. Lift your tailbone and roll up through your back. And then stretching out through the hips and the glutes. You can use something for balance if you need. You can hold on. Take one foot, cross it over the knee, and then sit your hips back. Sitting back and keeping your chest lifted and feeling that down into the bent knee hip. You're welcome to take your hands onto something if it helps to keep you a little bit more balanced. Or if you're quite balanced already, you can just stay with your chest lifted. Whichever option feels right for you to get that release through your hips. Standing up nice and tall, taking that same leg and bring it back into a quad stretch. Knee down towards the ground, hips move forward. A couple breaths here. And then switching your leg. So this leg now comes down. The other foot crosses over above the knee. You can either sit back here, finding your balance, or grabbing something for support to allow you, what's more important here than challenging balance, is releasing through the hip. Getting those glutes, a good stretch. So decide which option allows you to do that, and then hold there. Almost. One more breath. And stand up nice and tall. Bring that foot up behind you. Draw your knee towards the ground. Stretch through the front of your legs. Again, you can hold on to something for balance if that makes this an easier stretch. And then to finish, both feet come down. Reach your hands up over your head and hinging from your hips with soft knees, fold forward, long upper body, and just let your hands hang towards the ground, melting your chest towards your thighs. You can add as much bend in your knee as is needed to get that relaxation through your upper body. Hands are just heavy, neck is released, tailbone towards the ceiling. One more breath here. And then slowly roll that vertebrae by vertebrae. And all the way up into standing. Take a deep breath up. And you're done. Thanks for joining us again. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like what you see. And we'll see you here again next time.